so that she's going to get pregnant to a male child. Uh, journey to Bethlehem. Joseph takes Jesus, uh, Holy Mary to Bethlehem, where she gives birth to Jesus Christ over here, Nativity scene. After Jesus was born, three wise king bringing presents to him by following a newborn star over here. Normally, you can see these presents are drawn with a round shape and you cannot understand what they are symbolizing or how they look. But in here, since making pottery is a deep culture, they draw here very detailed potteries. Hmm. Like this is the affection of the local art on Christian art, I can say. Over here, flying away to Egypt, Joseph helps Mary and Jesus Christ to run away to Egypt from the persecution of the Roman soldiers, uh, actually the Herod soldiers. Herod was a king in Bethlehem who ordered to kill all male kids under two years old. And then, resurrection of Lazarus. This is like a kind of a miracle of Jesus Christ. Lazarus was uh, one of his relatives' husband, and he was dead for three days while when Jesus arrived to him but uh, he ordered him to rise up and walk so he came back from the dead and this is the uh, entry to Jerusalem we can see Jesus Christ on the donkey and uh, baptism scene Jesus in Jordan River transfiguration scene this is very interesting because we hear the God himself's voice on this uh, scene over here Jesus and his three apostles goes up on a mountain to pray while they were praying a light came from sky and took Jesus up uh, apostles frightened it and hiding it behind the hills and two other prophets came from the sky and this light ordered them listen to him he is my son and over here betrayal of Judas you can see Judas kisses Jesus Christ to define him as the uh, prophet and Last Supper, but this is not the uh, Da Vinci's Last Supper, I can say. Okay. Uh, it's different than that. For example, there is no ladies on it, you can see. Yeah. And we see the crucifixion scene, which you can see in the next church as well. Hmm. There is something very interesting on this one. Normally, it is very normal to just draw Jesus Christ with a skinny and naked body on crucifixion, because in Christianity, it's believed that uh, she, he paid the whole sins of the humankind on, on the pain, on crucifixion. But over here you can see his six-pack, big breasts, exaggerated muscles, biceps. So this is a kind of a naive detail. They wanted to show that he was the most powerful person in the universe. And this is from the Snake Church or the Onorpheus Church. Onorpheus is the guy who has an interesting body. This and a cactus covers his lower part big breasts and long white beard so you can't tell whether she or he mm. see like we believe that uh, he was an hermaphrodite saint mm. and this is also from the same church they just on the opposite side you see Saint George sits on the white horse and kills a dragon while Saint Peter helps him uh, so these are the most common scenes you can see inside the churches especially this one in the apple church is very obvious now you will pass through one tunnel and then the second one then you will end up with a balcony and behind the balcony you will see the apple church when you enter there you will see including these scenes like rising up Lazarus, birth of Jesus Christ, baptism scene most of them over there with the fresco style of painting which is different than the first one and looks much better I guess and after you visit the church, please wait for me over there. I will come after I, uh, I give information. Perfect.